Hey everyone, this is Miss Valentine and you are watching the Ecology Weekly Rundown for the week of November 2nd through the 8th. This is actually the second version of this video that I'm making because on Friday I found out that I am to be quarantining for the next two weeks. So I will not be in school during A week or B week, although I might be back by the end of B week next week. Um, however, I did want to go over everything with you. Really not that much is going to change except you guys will have a sub in the classroom and unfortunately we won't be able to do the notes together like I was hoping to do on Nearpod. Um, however, the video will be posted and you will be able to do the video just like you would if you were at home during digital week. Since I am out though, I do want you guys to pay close attention to the suggested daily schedule and try and follow that as best as you can uh, to help keep yourself on track. So both uh, A week and B week, you should be following the suggested daily schedule that we have here. And let's go ahead and just go over that then. Um, you're watching the weekly rundown video right now. Um, I did change the um, plan to do the outline instead of the notes on the daily log for Monday because I'm not going to be there to do the notes with you. Um, so if you guys want to start with the 5.3 outline with figure 19, it's a very short outline this week. Um, you'll notice, I'll even show it to you. Here, there it is, okay. Um, the 5.3 outline um, framework, you can tell it's a very short outline. Um, so only one, one figure to draw. Just make sure that you're labeling everything in the drawing. That's something that people often forget with this particular outline. So there's the outline, um, then the 5.3 notes with summary. Like I said, there's a video in there for that, so you'll fill it out. And I have noticed that a lot of people are forgetting to do the five sentence summary at the end of the notes packet. So just make sure that you do that notes uh, summary, you lose half the points for the notes packet if you don't do that. So let me scroll down here. So make sure once you get to that last um, part of the notes that you do this five sentence summary at the very end. On Tuesday, there is no in-class school, so I recommend everyone work on any late or missing work that you have in power school. And then um, I will be responding to email throughout the week, not just, I will be on Tuesday as well, but I will be responding all week. I will be around and working. So if you guys do need to communicate with me, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you guys are also going to watch the Amoeba Sisters on Ecological Succession. Um, and you guys can do this on your own. If you were in cohort A, take notes on the back of your daily log this week. So you'll try to get that done while you're in class if possible. And then cohort B, you can take the notes on notebook paper and just turn them into the basket when you return on um, Monday the 9th. The other items, um, we have a chapter five review Kahoot. I Put it as optional, it's recommended though, it will help you study for the tests that you have this week. Um, and that chapter five test, which is 29 points, I believe is on, I put it on the schedule for Friday. So I recommend playing the Kahoot on Thursday. If you haven't finished out your outline, finish that up and then take the chapter five test on Friday. Um, if you are um, in cohort A, you can turn in your daily log and any of these papers if you've finished the test by the end of the week. Um, otherwise, everyone who is digital um, can turn in the assignments by Sunday at um, 11.59 p.m., just like we have been doing for the rest for the, the previous few weeks. If you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to reach out since I am um, out of the school this week, uh, but I will be in, um, in front of my computer a lot of the time. So please um, let me know if you guys need any help. And uh, hope you have a good week. Thanks.